It's time I for Dapper Dino. So hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Uh, today I've decided to make a tutorial because I've been asked on making enemy health bars, like how you do that. And uh, first of all, all you really want to start off with is your world. Presumably you'll already have a game ready. So for this I've just got the uh, red floor and the cube with nothing on it. Well, a rigid body, but you don't, whatever your enemy is. Um, I've got two cameras which I don't need. Uh, that was from last tutorial, so just have your main camera and something that you can use as an enemy. Uh, so if you want to have a health bar, you want the health bar to follow the enemy. So here's our enemy. We'll just rename him enemy for now. And underneath him you want to have the health bar which will be a UI element. So you need to have a canvas on him. Um, and this canvas is not a screen space overlay, it's world space, meaning that um, the canvas, well, you know, is in the world, as it says. So now you can see the canvas is sort of inside uh, the enemy at the moment, once you've reset the transform. And make sure it's important you have world space here. Anyway, so now inside the canvas you can have whatever you want. So let's have a, we want a slider, and I think that's it. Oh, no. Okay, so as you can see, there's a problem here. So let's just scale that down. Just go back. And move it up. So you want to just position it right how it would be in the world. Um, maybe you want it a bit bigger. You can obviously scale this how you like. I have mine about that size. And then you want to go into the slider and maybe mess around with the settings. It's not that important what you do here, but first of all, I don't want to handle. Uh, oops. I. There we go. Um, so, in the handle slide area, sorry, in the background, you want to have the color of the health that it'll be when they lose health. So, in mine, I have when they've got health, it's green, but as they lose it, the bit behind is red. So, I'm going to just give it a random red here. And then, um, so that's the background. Then, the fill area. Sorry, did I delete? I delete the fill area fill. I'm silly. Okay, so the background, yeah, red. And then fill, you want to set to maybe green, for example. And then handle. Well, on the slider here, now you can change the value. So let's say they're on full health. Okay, well, first of all, we want to switch it around. It, uh, most games will have the health bar going down from right to left. So you know, just right to left. And then this little bit at the end is where the handle would normally be. So what you have to do for this is you have to go to your fill area and just set these to zero. There we go. And I think that's all you have to do. I would probably just set all these to zero as well. Uh, so that everything is normal. Yeah. So obviously now we have the health bar above the enemy. Um, let's just move this back up. Depends how high you want it off your enemy. All right, so we've got health bar, and uh, you can put a script on the health bar to make it always face your camera. But the way I've got it in my game is that, well, I, ha I have that. But one of the way you could do it is that the enemy is going to be facing you when he's moving towards you, so the health bar is also going to be facing you. Um, but the next thing you want to do is you want to make a script on the enemy. So we'll just call it like enemy health. So this is you know the script where you take care of the enemy's health and just give that a second to compile all right reload and here we have the enemy health script so i'm going to keep it simple you probably already have an enemy health script so we'll just have um health oh sorry float health equals um well i won't set it equal to anything i'm just going to make it public and do it in the editor so we got public float health uh, public float max health um Let's do that with capital. And I guess that's all you really need there. And then we also want a public. Um, oh, because we're going to be messing around with UI, you want to use using Unity uh, Engine dot UI at the top. So it allows you to use um, those kind of uh, that namespace. So you're allowed to refer to sliders and text and uh, other UI elements. Uh, Give me one second, sorry. Yeah, okay. So 
now that you've got the slider, we also, you might want a public um, game object for the like health bar UI. Uh, so that when the health is full, it doesn't show a health bar because sometimes you might want that. You can miss that bit out if you don't want to. Uh, just call that slider. All right, so let's go down here. So void start. So uh, when the enemy is first made, what do we want to do? Well, we want to set the health equal to the max health because, well, when something spawns, it's going to be on full health. And then you want to set the health bar, uh, what do I call it? I just call it slider. Uh, you want to set the slider dot value because that's, um, you know, how much it's filled up by equal to. And then I'm going to make a um, so routine called calculate health. And the reason I'm doing this is because, well, I'll show you in a minute. So we will have a void update because it needs to be checking if the health has changed every frame, every second, uh, every frame, sorry. So we also want to set the value equal to calculate uh, health every frame to make sure it's updated. Uh, what else do we want to do? We want to, um, we're going to have it so that if the health is less than the max health, so if the enemy has taken damage, um, yeah, the health is, yeah, that should work. Um, then we're going to set the health bar UI active. So we're going to start it off with it uh, deactivated, but then when it takes damage, then it'll be set to active. Um, what else do we want? We will have a way of killing the enemy. So it's like health is less than or equal to zero. We want to um, want to destroy the enemy. So destroy, and then because this is on, sorry, this is on the parent. Yeah, so we can just uh, destroy the game object that it's attached to. So obviously, if it's health less than or equal to zero, the reason you put less than or equal to is because if you are on zero health, sorry, if you're on one health and you take two damage, you'll be on negative one health and it won't kill it. So you need to make sure it's less than or equal to. Um, and then just for safety measures, we want to say if the health is greater than the max health, set the health to the max health. The reason being that if enemies get healed over their max health, you don't want them to be able to be over their max health. You want it to um, put it back. So the next thing you want a function so it will return a float so instead of putting public void or void void means it doesn't return anything but this is going to return a float calculate health so we're going to have a return what do we want it to return well we want to get a value between 0 and 1 so it's going to be the percentage of health so if we take the health and we divide it by the max health that's going to give us a value the percentage of their health uh, that the character's on. So then up here, it's going to set the value to. So let's say we're on 100 out of 100. This will return 1. So the slider value will be 1. And as I showed you earlier, if you go to the slider when it's uh, compiled, the slider's value is between 0 and 1. Now you can change that, the max and min, but it's good keeping it at 1, 1 being 100% health and 0 being dead, because then it's quite easy in code to. Uh, manage that. Now I've not built any way of attacking the enemy for this but what we need to do last of all is hey, here you can see health and max health so I'll set the max health to 100. Now you technically don't need to set the health because it does that in the start function but in case you know you just want to might as well. Uh, health bar UI well we'll select the um, the UI will just be the canvas and the slider is going to be obviously the slider itself and then we can we could prefab this uh, so you, if you want to make more enemies um, let's quickly disable the canvas uh, yeah wait sorry I'm an idiot that the one at the top and that obviously disables the slider but so now if I uh, override that so now we can have more enemies uh, obviously there Y is in the ground because the pivot's in the center of them. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. There we go. 
So we've got all these enemies now. And then let's press play. Just to make sure this works. If it does, then that's all good, good. So we'll go to the scene view for this. So I see here's an enemy. Let's go to the first one we made. Ooh, why is it zoomed out? There we go. So his health is 100 out of 100, and his health bar's not there. Let's say we set his health to 90. And as you can see, his health's now on 90, which is, well, 90% because it's 90 out of 100. Um, obviously, you can go down to 20, whatever. And then if his health goes to zero, he dies. So this will update in real time. So uh, obviously, it happens for all of the enemies now because I've just made a prefab. So 50 health. 40 health. Oh, he died because I had just a zero in there. So obviously if I just said it's zero, it dies. So as soon as they reach zero or minus 100, yep, died. As soon as it went to a negative, it died. So and if you stop, they'll be back because it's a pre. Uh, it's just in playtime. But yeah, I hope this uh, showed you how to do it. It's very simple. You just need to basically have it access the slider. The key things to remember is make sure you're using Unity Engine UI so you can edit the UI. Uh, make sure your enemy has a canvas on it with uh, world space, not screen space, so that it moves with the enemy. And make sure that you have some way of calculating the health between 0 and 1. And remember here, what happens is it says the slider's value is, and then it's the function. And the reason why you're setting it equal to a function is because what it means is it runs this function, and whatever it returns is that value. So obviously, if you're on 50 out of 100, it will return 0 0.5 to here. And it'll set the value to 0 0.5, which is halfway down. And it'll be on half health. So it's all very uh, logical. It's not that complicated. But you know, uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for the person who asked, and maybe other people, hopefully. And thanks for watching, and goodbye.